Lovely people, it's about time, if you've never eaten or cooked mussels before, to try some. We're gonna do angry mussels. So chili, garlic, and some tomatoes. We're gonna have them just open with the broth. We're gonna have them over toast, and we're gonna have them with some beautiful spaghetti. There is nothing negative that these bad boys do. They clean the water, they're full of goodness, they're absolutely delicious. They take about four minutes to cook, so it's the ultimate fast food. Now, you can get your fishmonger to prep these for you. They just wash them and pull a little beard off like that. They're really, really simple to do. If there's any that are open, just get rid of them. I've got a pan of boiling water and I've got a griddle pan. Those two things signify taking the beautiful mussels two ways. So first up, salted boiling water. Let's get the pasta. All the linguine, grab it with two hands, twist it, and then when it goes in, it will spiral around and then it won't stick together. So a nice little tip there. Put the pan straight on there. For here, we're gonna do a beautiful crostini, right? So we're gonna get a nice chunk of interesting bread and then we're gonna do a piece of toast. Turn that down nicely. Now in here, we're gonna do angry mussels. So arrabbiata sauce, an Italian sauce based around chili, garlic, uh, and some beautiful tomatoes. Take the little ends off the chilies. The seeds are the really hot part, and we want to get rid of those. Cut it into little strips. Olive oil, a couple of tablespoons goes in. Go straight in with the chili, and bring it up from a cold pan to hot. So it really kind of stews the chili in the oil. And then I want to slice up some garlic. Two or three cloves will be just fine. This is super fast food. This will be done in the time that it takes to cook the spaghetti, no problem at all. In with the garlic. Let's change up the traditional kind of parsley, basil, herb. I can see rosemary, fantastic. We go straight in and they go into the oil and the flavor is really meaty, really savory. Have a little look at that. Really, really nice. Absolutely gorgeous. So back on here, turn the heat up. Oh, I'll tell you what might be nice. A little bit of lemon zest. Just a couple of strokes, it'll make all the difference. Oh, I can smell it already. The minute this garlic starts to look golden, straight in with the mussels, a little bit of white wine. I just want a gesture. It's on full whack, and we're gonna go in with the tomatoes. Now, you want plum tomatoes, and then use your hands to really scrunch the tomatoes through your hands so you get a nice, nice rustic, tomato sauce with white wine. Right, lid on top. Four minutes or until they've all opened and they're gonna be incredible. With the toast, to transform it, just get one clove of garlic, cut it in half, rub it once, twice, three times. All right, four around the rim. That is very, very nice. Really, really pungent and gorgeous. Look at that. So you can tell when these mussels are cooked, when they've Pinged open, we're gonna have them just opened like that with the broth. Beautiful. So taking the juice from the bottom, we can just have a little taste. Oh, that little bit of lemon zest is properly just made the whole thing incredible. You've got a lot of juice coming out there and that juice as well loves to go on things that suck up flavor. Couscous, rice, pasta, bread, absolutely fantastic. So plain, open mussels, simple and beautiful. Then we've got the toast, and we're gonna put the mussels on top, and of course, all of that juice just goes straight into the toast, it sucks it all up, and it just makes it slightly more substantial. And then on the last bit, we're gonna go in with the pasta. And then when the pasta's slightly under, and what it's going to do is suck up that lovely flavour. Look at that. Wow. Linguine with mussels. Super, super delicious. I would finish that with good olive oil. Absolutely gorgeous. Enjoy it. Mussels, angry style, with linguine, on toast, and as they are, happy days.